click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we will talk about the transaction states. That means we will first know that how a transactions become atomic and durable and from this atomicity and durability, how the transactions can be in each of the state that we will describe today and how they can be correlated with each other. Transaction as we know that from the concept that we have already described that is a set of operation that is performed together to perform a meaningful task. Now whenever we are considering a transaction, two things we need to keep in mind. One is the atomicity and it is durability. Atomicity is that the transaction is performed at all or not performed because there is no that medium of the transaction is being performed and we have to perform the last one. So we cannot do this like. The durability is once a transaction has been performed, it is being saved in the previous state and also in the new state, that is the durable. That is, it will not change. Another transaction is not attempted to be used. So to gain this to the atomicity and durability situation, we need many states that the transaction has to be in so that we can ensure the atomicity and durability of a transaction. First, we need to talk about the aborted. What do you mean by the aborted? When we are talking about an aborted transaction, that means we are having the transactions can be unsuccessful in any of the meaning. So whenever the transaction is aborted, we need to take the transaction in an aborted state. And to take the untransaction in an aborted state, then we need to perform the transaction in the previous state that it was happening on the successful state of the transaction. So now this can be performed with a rolled back operation. So the rolled back operation allows us to make the transaction from the last state to the previous state. Now what is in a committed state? In a committed state we can see that the transaction is successfully completed on its meaningful task. Now whenever we are maintaining a particular successful and unsuccessful transactions, we can have it inside a log. So the log can be based on a transaction that has both the successful and an aborted transaction. Now the successful transactions are then committed on this basis that they have completed their task that has been assigned to and the aborted transactions can be then just left with the transaction that is not nil in this way. Now what about a compensated transaction? Say that there is two account A and B of a bank. Now $20 is then credited from this account A. Now it should be debited to account B if it is credited for the intention of purposing it to account B. So this transaction that the $20 here will be debited and credited with the account A is a compensation transaction where one transaction initiates another transaction. Now if this type of transaction is being made, then it is the entire responsibility of the database management system, not the user, that they should keep the which transactions are compensated and which are in the part of the transaction. So now we can say that the dollar B is being debited from account B, but not have debited in the account A. So what an user end can perform? The user end can abort this one while say the committed on this one. So this will make us a discrepancy on this two side because the aborted and committed is not matched for a single transaction that is being demitted from account and credited to another account. So this discrepancy stands for the compensation transaction. Now if we consider the transaction that we have described till now, first when the transaction is started, then we are telling it that it is in the active state. So first the transaction need to be in the active state to get started.
Now, after that, we can see that when the transaction is performing its operation and has performed one of the operation that is being a part of this transaction. Say so if the transaction is having the operation O1, O2 and O3 and has performed an O1 on O2 till now, then we can say it is in the partially committed state. We cannot say that after O2, it will continue with O3 or will just have to be in its completion. So we can have that in the partial committed state. Now, after that, if we say that if the O1 on O2 has completed, but due to some error that we can have only with the logical one, not an hardware or software problem. So if there are any problem with this one, then we can say that it cannot continue its operation any further. So we consider that the transaction is in failed state. Now we say that this transaction has started its active operation, but from the first operation that it is querying, it can be seen that the operation needs a database on the part of the database that is not available at that point of time. Say there is any link problem in a bank and the transformed on the account has been from the credited account but not debited to the new account. So now it is not performed the transaction at all due to the maintenance of atomicity on a transaction. So we considered that the transaction is now being filled. So we want to perform this transaction again. So now it also can happen that it directly goes from the active state to this fill state. Now, if the transaction goes on with the next operations and has complete its all operations without any intervention, then we can say that we have committed that particular transaction. Now, the failed transaction that we can say that if that is in that particular aborted mode when there is a hardware and software problem. Now, if the problem lies within the logic on that particular one, then we cannot restart that operation on the transaction. So we can see from the failed, the transaction can go to the aborted state. So as we can see that in the final step, the transaction can either be committed or be aborted. Now, if the transaction is not committed or aborted, then we say that the transaction has been terminated. Now, what do you mean by terminated? That it has not completed its execution, but it has not also aborted due to some failure in the software hardware problem or there is a logical problem to the transaction. It just terminates because of the ionism completion, the CPU problem and all. So the transaction is in the active state and it also can go to the terminated state. Now, when the actions on the transaction is in terminated state, then we cannot just restart the operation. Now, from the aborted state, if it is a hardware or software problem, then we can restart the application on the transaction. We need to consider that whenever the transaction is being restarted, then it is considered as a new transaction. There is no way that we can preserve the previous operation that we have until perform the abortion. So if there is a failure after O1 and O2 and we need to start the transaction again, then we consider the O1 and O2 to be performed again, not starting with O3. So now from the aborted state, it can either go to this active state just by restarting the operation. And if there is a problem with a logical error inside the transaction, that the designer has made some problem with the transaction that it is not performing in the desireful way. So we can then perform the killing on the abortion. So after the abortion, we can either have the killing or the restart. 
the killing can be done when there is a logical problem and the restarting can be done whether it's some some hardware and software problem so in this way the transaction has started in the active state from the start so whenever we are considering a transaction so it is in the active state after that it is in the partial committed from that it can either go to the committed or to the fail state finally it will move to the aborted state by killing or restarting itself or the transaction in a special case can go to the terminated state if it is not committed or aborted now in this way we can perform the transactions the atomicity and durability against for each of the operation on the transaction so thank you for watching this video Stay tuned with Ikira and subscribe to Ikira.